Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showing some of my working experience um, uh, in Revit, how we can fix the transformer and some LV panels in this room. So this is the trenches for the LV room and this is the trench for the transformer room and it's connecting to the LV panel or LV room also. And here is some riser for the cable tray. So how we can do some uh, do these panels, I am showing this exercise. So if you like my video, please subscribe my channel. So we'll need to fix some equipments over LV panels first over here. So that need to be go to system, then go to electrical equipment. And uh, first we need to fix some transformers. So I'm just fixing one transformer over here, another one over here, this one. So this is this one is placed and another one over here and another one over here so if you look in the 3d view how it's look so you can just uh, go to the 3d then you can see it was uh, fixed uh, in the floor like this so just uh, need to again stretch the things like that and you can see the trenches and everything and it is uh, it will be connecting to the uh, each lv rooms like that okay so then we need to do the uh, actually we need to do the uh, uh, some panel lv panel also so how we can do that one go to electrical equipment again then you can having some we'll have some family for the lv panel so you can fix the family over over here and you can just uh, uncheck the doors and even the clearance and this uh, this one so you can just hide it that one and you can fix the lv panel like this and if like in the center of the trench and you can just adjust that one and go to 3d view and you can uh, make the alignment of the alignment this is come to the uh, below of this flow so you need to make the alignment for that one so just to uh, type al and then select the floor then select the panel so you can see it was fixed like that so just uh, need to be arranged uh, arranged as per the plan you can arrange as per the plan like this so you can move it a little bit over here you can adjust it that in the 3d view itself you can adjust it and just stretch this section box and then go to here the top and you can select the panel and go to copy and you can give the copy over here then you can adjust the move the this one the clearance is like around thousand then, then it will be fixed like this the same thing you can copy these things just select copy and just uh, make it over here this two panel and uh, another one more panel we can place over here another one panel we you can just copy this one again and just make it the same distances over here and you can see the panel was fixed over here then uh, actually this was in the facing the another side so you just need to be uh, move it like this just space bar and just you can uh, move it like that just space bar it and then the automatically it will be rotated and then you can select the panel and move to the center of the um, just select the move 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 command and fix it in the center of this one so you can see it was fixed over there you can adjust a little bit more over here just uh, move it is touching to the wall then you can adjust that one so like that you can arrange the lv panel and the generator and uh, the transformer also you can adjust it there like that and and the, there will be some another apfc panel so you need to fix it that one so just go to here in the plan then uh, you can fix that one also go to the system electrical equipment we'll have some other family for apfc and you can just select that one and you can fix it that one in where you required so i'm just placing over here and just changing you can select this one and go to the 3d view so how it's look you can see it's 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 placing the like in the floor right just i'm deleting this one and i'm just turning to go to here electrical equipment so place on vertical face then you can fix that one uh, like i'm just uh, it's giving this height thousand 200 and fixing one of the panel over here another one panel over here another one panel over here and you can just uh, go to the 3d view and uh, you can look the uh, the panel uh, apfc panel is fixed over there simply you can see that one okay then another thing like if you need to play some electrical uh, uh, another electrical equipments also 
here you can place some dbs and smdbs over here so go to electrical equipments you can select the the db whichever you have so i have some smdbs so i'm placing the smdbs over here and you can ch change the elevations also like 2200 i'm placing for this area so you can look in the 3d view that was also fixed right like this so simply you can arrange the uh, lv panels like that in the rivet and uh, if you want to uh, this is the cable tray riser right so you can uh, run the cable trays for example if you have some uh, cable tray around uh, 900 mm cable tray or even even you have some cable ladder you can arrange it that one i uh, like this for example i am using cable ladder then uh, the height the, the, the elevations you can make like uh, uh, some elevations you can make so i'm i'm just keeping like uh, 3000 right now and then uh, you can uh, the run the cable ladder like this and just need to be run the cable ladder like this and it is going to the uh, opening uh, where we can go the opening it will show you uh, for example this is going through this riser right so just uh, i need to just uh, make it up to here then you can see the cable ladder how it's running just selecting that one you can see it is running like that so if you need to make it more elevations like up uh make it make it more elevation like uh, you can change the elevations from here so selecting this cable the, then you can just give the elevation 3500 or or 3800 we can say like that and it is going like this right so we need to we can give some filters also i i done a lot of video for how to do the filters for example i just want to uh, make some service types for this one i am just making like a cable tray uh, cable ladder just i am just making cable ladder one for this one so the same um, i need to reflect in the filter go to vv then filter and uh, i need to add one filter for cable tray one ct uh, cable ladder one so i'm just giving like a cl one for this one cable ladder one and i'm selecting this cable tray and cable tray fit fittings from here and then service type i'm just using the service type and go to equals then here you can see that the cable ladder cable cl1 is come up over here then you need to add that one i'm just adding that one cl1 click ok then you can um, make the color whichever color you like it then you can use the color for that uh, cable for example i'm just using blue color then here the pattern you can select it i'm just using solid fill or whichever patterns you required you can use it that one uh, time being i'm keeping that one um, you can just uh, click ok and you can see that that was fixed uh, that was come up over here like that and uh, some other another cable tray another another this the, the there will be one one riser is there so you need to run the cable tray riser for that uh, all the riser it's need to be go going from here right so you can make the sections uh, from here like uh, you can say take the sections from here and you just make a one sections over here like the, the, you can you can make it that one so it is coming uh, it's creating and then you just need to come up over here and you can make the go to view and you can see you can just stretch up to here that uh, you can stretch it up to here and you can change you can go to give to fine and just shade it and then here we can change the scale of this uh, plan and uh, you can see the cable uh, come up over ladder is come up over here and we can use the uh, cable uh, i am I'm using from here uh, actually this cable tray so you can just uh, this uh, i think i need to change that to channel cable tray i just need to be make that channel cable tray from here up to where you required i think up to here we can make it so automatically this will be uh, creating this one and you can change the bending radius around 350 and to just just you can see the how it's look in the 3d view just go to the 3d view you can see it come up over here the cable ladder then uh, it is the cable travel connecting to the ladder and going like that and you can implement this uh, filter here also the cable tray this one so i'm using one filter only you can use other filter for that one solid fill and um, giving the blue color cable tray and clicking okay apply okay so you can see it was clearly you can see it was uh, creating over here service type i need to give that one cl1 cl.1 so it will 
creating like that right so it is a clear uh, clear you can see that it was going up to the where where the opening will be available so i think up to here they are given the opening so it is coming up to here so same process for another uh, cable tray rise cable tray ladder or riser you can uh, cable tray or ladder you can uh, create it through the uh, through this riser so you can just uh, um, go to view and just give it a fine from here and uh, you can make another cable tray also i'm, I'm using cable tray right now so 900 mm same cable tray and i need to uh, run the cable tray with uh, some heights like uh, 3750 then i need to uh, the run the cable tray from here service type i am just uh, keeping the same one cl1 then another cable tray we can run over here from here like this just to draw the cable tray like from here like that and it is going to the uh, it is going to this our uh, our riser then go to view then you can uh, develop this i think that there will be some clashes so we can just to move this cable tray up to uh, whichever heights required so you can move it that one then uh, you can change the elevations for this one also you can adjust this adjust this one here like this and this minimum uh, some uh, um, some distance required for this one so we can maintain like a 250 or 200 for each uh, the uh, both cable tray and ladder then you can select from here and uh, draw cable tray so the same thing you can implement it over here up to here you can connect and you can just uh, run the cable tray like where you required so here we can make the uh just reduce reducing like this you can make it and here also you can make the bending uh, radius like that and if you know if you need to go to the 3d view you can see clearly see it was come like this just stretching up to here this view and you can see the cable ladder and cable tray coming like this different level it is coming and it is going to the uh going to the going to the our our uh, riser the same thing like you can make it another uh, for example the cable ladder we need okay for example the cable ladder we need so from here in this panel you need, the, the, you need to run the cable ladder of uh, from here so another things you can make it like this and you can just made it, uh, the cable ladder like this and it would go to it we need, need to be go to the riser so you can go to and see the uh, how it's um, arranging so go to the 3d view maybe there will be some clash with each cable tray so you can see that uh, how it's looking and uh, we, we need to arrange some uh, arrange some levels for the cable tray and everything so it is clashing with another cable tray right different different uh, levels we need to go and you can move this one up to the here so in one support we can arrange all the cable tray or ladder so it is clashing with each other so just need to be give another elevations for this one so i'm just selecting this one and i'm just giving 3200 for uh, this cable tray elevation so automatically it will come down we can make it like a little bit more like 3300 yeah it will be go like that and different um, uh, filters you can use it and uh, even um, you can drop the cable a ladder or cable tray to the panel also so you can just make it like this here and then go to view and uh, then you can see that uh, one minute i'm just selecting this one then you can drop the cable ladder or cable tray like uh, like in this one like this way just uh, changing this bending radius then I can see that that will be uh, dropped down to the panel like that. Even the same situations for this one ladder. So just go up over here and just to make go to view and then select the cable tray, draw cable tray to the panel or ladder to the panel. So you can see it will be uh, it will be go, going through the uh, panel also like this and this way we can arrange the panels in the lv rooms and other things and another one uh, tutorial i will show you how to develop uh, the trenches uh, the cable cables running through the trenches and everything 
and some other cable trace also you can uh, do for the uh, draw for these connections of this APS panel and SMDBs like a small uh, cable tray you can uh, make it the another small cable trace like uh, as per your requirement you can make the cable tray from here um, for example I can use channel cable tray and you can make the lot of cable trays like where where it's need to be go and it will need to be connect for the panels and everything so like that you can make the cable uh, for each panels uh, and otherwise you can just make it like a, I will I'll show you one uh, like here you can make it like this and then you can drop the each cable tray like the like this and just making one cable tray over here and another branch you need to put over uh, here like this another one you can place over here then each cable tray need to be drop over there then you can make the sections for this one and move the sections over here and rotate the section like 90 degree uh, enter 90 degrees then you can go to the move to the sections up to here then go to view and uh, this is very uh, the elevation is very small so you can make it a little bit up of this one uh, make it up to here then I just need to be draw the cable tray like this and dropping to the panel like that okay so just need to be make it a little bit more about about the, this one and you can see the that in the 3d view you can see it will be look like that another one the same method you need to implement it over here just go to here go to view then drop the cable tray from here draw the cable tray and connecting to the panel same thing you need to apply over here like this you can go to here and go to view just uh, draw the cable tray from here like this and uh, uh, up to the panel you can uh, see it was dropping to the panels right the symbol exercise this one so you can connect all the cable trays ladder like this and where if you need the for some cable uh, tray to the panel or another panel also <coughs> you can uh, do the same exercise for that so i need to just create similar and i need to take one branches over here this panel and one branches for this panel you can clearly make it that one so adjust this panel up to here and uh, you can make the here also some uh, some dropping to the panel so here just need to make the cable, draw cable tray and dropping and connecting to the smdb panel so like that you can arrange it to all the uh, cable trays In here go to here and another panel also you need to drop it so just to move it up to here go to view then uh, drop the cable tray from here draw cable tray and just uh, move it up to uh, dropping up to here like this so all the uh, you can see all the uh, the cable trays are uh, dropped like this and uh, here you can if, if it's required to move it in the center you can just uh, adjust it in uh, move move the, in the center of the uh, room like that so this one you can stretch it and you can see clearly see that it will be uh, it will work like that and different different color you can use uh, as per the uh, uh, using filters okay so i did a lot of video for how to make their filters and everything so this this one for example here you need to drop the cable tray so the same um, things you need to apply over here just make this one and drop up over here rotate the uh, section just rotate it and move up to here then go to view then you need to drop the cable cable ladder or cable tray like this you can uh, drop it that one and this uh, um, i think this uh, the bending radius you can make it like uh, reduce the bending radius so it will uh, show like this so you need to go to the 3d view you can see clearly see it will be dropping like that see this one you can clearly see the clear uh, the room and uh, other things like this you can see up to here you can stretch it and you can see the all the view like this and uh, here you can stretch it that one you can stretch it a little bit down so this is the one of the arrangement uh, like uh, how to uh, make the panel and uh, how to distribute the cable tray through the uh, another floor risers and everything if you like my this video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching thank you